Hi, you've clicked on today's Tropical Tidbit for Tuesday evening, August 18th, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. Well, here's a short and rather late video discussion on what is now Tropical Storm Danny in the Central Atlantic. This is X-Invest 96L that we talked about yesterday. An ASCAP pass this morning revealed a closed circulation, and the NHC initiated advisories based on that, and uh, subsequently upgraded this to a tropical storm. And uh, this is now looking pretty good this evening. If we look in at the zoomed floater here, what's happened today is a general increase in the coverage and depth of convection over the circulation. We see a lot of what we call hot towers, really tall thunderstorms going off on the northern edge of the circulation. This is becoming a more sustained event now. This is not thunderstorms going up, coming down for a few hours, and then pulsing back up again. This is becoming a more continuous burst of convection. And this is what you like to see for tropical cyclones to intensify because this curved band structure with sustained convection it really is conducive for warming of the air column over the center and this allows the pressures to fall and subsequently the winds to increase around the circulation and this is how these storms intensify in addition this curved band to the west here indicates that there is general convergence of the low level flow ahead of where the storm center is moving and so this means there's not accelerating trade winds to the west yet that may come later but right now the low level flow is very favorable for the circulation to spin up over the next day or two. In addition, Danny is located still kind of within the monsoon trough here, which means there's a nice envelope of moisture around it and it's moving slowly, which means it will have a couple of days to draw from this before it becomes separated from it. And that may allow it to become self-sustaining. If it can get strong enough, it may be able to survive once it gets outside of this moisture belt when we get up into the dry air that's lurking off to the northwest here. And this is what the NHC is calling for in its current forecast, which shows strengthening over the next couple of days into a hurricane by Thursday afternoon. It continues to intensify into a Category 2 100 mile per hour sustained wind hurricane by the time it gets to about 55 west in five days or so. That's about Sunday. And you can see how slow it's moving. It hasn't really made it to the islands yet. Even in five days, it'll take another day or two for it to move into the islands. But by this weekend, there is likely to be a threat to this area, and these islands should probably be thinking about preparations and keeping an eye on this during the coming days. There's a buoy north of the storm right now showing uh, how fast this thing is winding up. 42 knot winds at the buoy. Uh, 35 knots was the analyzed intensity at 5 p.m. At 11 p.m., they may be bumping this up. Uh, a couple notches in terms of the analyzed intensity. So this thing is starting to get its act together here tonight. Here's a microwave pass again showing the curved band structure. Again, very conducive for tropical storms when they are first starting out in their structural evolution. And usually this curved band, as the storms intensify, will try to close off and become the eye, but that usually doesn't happen until these things near or exceed hurricane intensity. Here's the model tracks, again, showing a general west-northwest track. Now, pinpointing an exact island that Danny could impact, whether or not it could hit Puerto Rico, uh, is really impossible to say at a range like this, six, seven, maybe even eight days out from Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. It's really uh, details that we can't know because there are a, an abundance of little things that can change that we can't anticipate in the atmosphere. It's a very complex thing, the atmosphere, and any little change can really make a big difference in terms of the long range track and intensity. Uh, but we have a nice general idea right now. We talked about this elliptical ridge to the north that's building in with the system as it moves west during the next few days that will likely keep this west-northwest -north track steady toward the islands. And this has a, a fairly decent chance to impact at least some of these islands in about uh, five to seven days. So this is something that folks should start keeping a close eye on as it evolves. Now in terms of intensity, uh, the European had a hurricane yesterday, has backed off that solution, now has just a tropical storm, weak to moderate, heading into the islands in six days. Conversely, the GFS had no development yesterday and is now the bullish model in the latest run showing a borderline hurricane approaching the Lesser Antilles. But like I said about the European yesterday, we like to see model consistency. We don't like to see these models jumping around from run to run showing different solutions. It would be nice if the European and the GFS 
could start showing the same thing over and over again that would lend confidence to what they show. However, the reason the National Hurricane Center is forecasting a strengthening hurricane like this is because the conditions do support the formation of a fairly strong storm over the next two to three days. And if it can sustain itself coming toward the islands, then we may very well have a solution like this. So even though the European is showing a weaker storm, the current evidence suggests that we may very well have a hurricane bearing down on the islands in a few days. So that's the current forecast from the National Hurricane Center, and that's why we're concerned for the islands at this point. Uh, it is worth pointing out that even though the NHC forecasts a strengthening hurricane approaching the islands, there are some reasons to believe that Danny could struggle on its approach. Now right now it's in a decent place, but here's the forecast for Thursday, two days from now from the European. This is the wind speed at 5,000 feet above sea level, uh, roughly, and uh, these colors indicate the wind speed. Now if you look at the wind speed here and the wind speed here, note that the colors get darker as you go farther west. This indicates that the trade winds are accelerating as you move toward the islands, and this means there's divergence, there's air spreading out to the east of the islands, and that tends to induce sinking above it. And sinking air suppresses thunderstorm activity. And so if the storm moves into this area, it's going to be fighting against that negative impact. And it gets even worse when you get into the actual Caribbean over here west of the Lesser Antilles. So this is a typical area where weak storms and tropical waves tend to struggle to intensify once they get west of about 50 longitude. And if Danny's not a hurricane by this point, it may have a hard time continuing to intensify. And it may level off or even weaken. Some of the models do imply that solution. And right now, uh, Danny's in a nice environment, but it will it will move into a less favorable environment outside the monsoon trough with more dry air and some of this trade wind acceleration in a few days. So, you know, storms like Chantal 2013, Bertha 2014 come into mind. Just the most recent examples of storms that wanted to intensify but really struggled to do so or even weakened as they came through the islands and really had a hard time getting their act together due to conditions like this. Uh, but right now, uh, Danny certainly has a great start. Uh, this is very good structure right now going into this evening and we'll have to see what happens over the next couple of days. Um, we're still a long way out from this impacting the islands but uh, this is something that is definitely worth keeping an eye on and thinking about preparing for as this heads your way. All right that's it for today. Thanks for watching.